she stood still with her hair flying in the wind. She stood still with her hair flying in the wind. She stood still with her hair flying in the wind. With this new software, you can easily add an format text on your website. With this new software, you can easily add and format text on your website. As she got older, her love of food became a constant delight in her life. As she got older, her love of food became a constant delight in her life. As she got older, her love of food became a constant delight in her life. I've been searching for an answer to that problem. I've been searching for an answer to that problem. We've ascertained the truth. We've ascertained the truth. We've ascertained the truth.
over time, the two pilots started working together as partners instead of competitors. Over time, the two pilots started working together as partners instead of competitors. Psychology teaches us that our behavior influences our beliefs. Psychology teaches us that our behavior influences our beliefs. Psychology teaches us that our behavior influences our beliefs. The dynamic behavior of chemical equilibrium has numerous practical applications. Contrary to our expectation, the teams were quite evenly matched. Contrary to our expectation, the teams were quite evenly matched. Contrary to our expectation, the teams were quite evenly matched. When he stood up, he realized that his leg had fallen asleep. When he stood up, he realized that his leg had fallen asleep. When he stood up, he realized that his leg had fallen asleep. Modern methods of construction offer benefits such as increased strength and durability. Modern methods of construction offer benefits such as increased strength and durability. They like swimming. They like swimming. They like swimming.
We later realized that the window had been open the whole time. We later realized that the window had been open the whole time. We later realized that the window had been open the whole time. During a redox reaction, some atoms gain electrons while others lose electrons. During a redox reaction, some atoms gain electrons while others lose electrons. The friends shared similar tastes in music. The friends shared similar tastes in music. Hi, I'm doing well, thanks. What can I do for you? That's a tough decision. 
Have you been looking at jobs in the field that you're interested in? That's true. A doctoral program would give you the opportunity to gain more knowledge and research experience in your field so that you can eventually get a job that you want. It definitely takes a lot of time and commitment, but it can be very rewarding. If you're not sure if an advanced degree is for you, why don't you try working in your field for a few years and then decide whether or not to pursue a doctorate later on.
Describe an event that is important in your culture. Describe an event that is important in your culture. An event that is highly important in my culture, I would say, is Christmas. Although Christmas is usually celebrated in countries like in the United States, in Colombia, most people value this, this holiday. Um, there are two like aspects about it. First, it has like a um, religious context. Some people like to honor the arrival of Jesus. And on the other hand, people that are not religious or have a different religion also value this time since it's a time to spend with the relatives and have a great time also to share things like moments, gifts, um, and much more with the people that they love or just to travel around and get to know like more parts of the country or to see their extended family or relatives that live in different cities or towns. I personally enjoy this time since is it happens just before the new year so i have enough time to think about what has been happening through all that year and also to think about what i would like to do next year also uh in my country before christmas we have some meetings that are called novenas in which you visit your relatives and friends one by one and share some nice food This is a very intriguing image. I can see many sculptures of different men. They are white. And this is a museum that has natural light. You can see it through the ceiling or roof. And on the second floor, you can see many columns that offer like a classical style. Um, it evokes like memories from Greece, I would say or maybe also the United States, they use like a similar style. Okay, on the left hand, you can also see like more sculptures. There is a little man made of metal uh, that is black and it contrasts the style of the other pieces of art. Uh, the ground has different tiles. They have like square patterns and they are blue, I guess, since, since I am colorblind, or also, and also gray. In the background, you can see, it's hard to notice, but I think that they are balloons, white balloons. They, they are too far away. And the lights, they also have like artificial light in, in the aisles. And they are like warm lights, like yellow, yellowish or reddish natural colors. I would say this is a hard question since everybody like or enjoy different conditions. So I'm going to speak about those that work for me the best. First, and a nice place to study or work in is a quiet place. So since you can focus better, I would say that it could be maybe an office that is far from the traffic or like noisy places. Um, all in all, um, I think that maybe it could be a park sometimes, as, as crazy as it sounds, or well, just the office, or even if you live in a quiet apartment or house, that would be a great place. Uh, why would these characteristics help people? Uh, well, as I said before, since they can focus, but I think that having some amenities or conveniences 
it's also important. Some people prefer to work at home because they can like set their spaces, maybe with a fan, maybe with some nice furniture, a nice chair, and they also have access to the fridge and the bathroom, which is very convenient. And this makes them more efficient. When you are sharing your space, you have to create like something balanced for everyone, which is not possible, which which is harder, boom, right?
some hobbies that I have are reading, listening to music, and playing video games. I know that these that they sound like very bored, boring, or maybe cliche hobbies, but since I am usually busy working, I don't have much time to do other things, and I at this period of my life, I like to keep the cost low. So these activities allow me to do all of that. They are cheap, they are relaxing, and well, they are inexpensive. I would say it's a better word. And they get the job done. So I like them. They are also enriching. You learn a lot through them, maybe through playing video games. Actually, it forces your mind to be more creative and to pay attention. May did I say reading? Well, I also like to read. And listening to music uh, raises your mood. Um, all in all, although I like video games, I usually play them like once a month because I'm very busy or tired or I have another thing to do. But it also brings like nostalgic memories, although I, do, I don't do that that often. But when it comes to music, that is different because it, bo it boosts productivity. And you can do that while you are doing a different activity, so it's not time consuming, and that is a great advantage compared to other hobbies. Uh, no more. But in the future, yes, I would definitely like to change my hobbies because I don't want to be working and resting and no more. I want to, to experience my life. So I, I would start maybe by spending more time outdoors, doing more exercise. I do that right now but it's not as much as I like. So uh, I, I guess I would enroll in a course about like physical training so I can perform that hobby better and slowly like graduate, slowly turn that into a side hustle, a different job. So I could like keep in shape while I get money and I meet new people. So it's only win-win. Um, other than that, I will also I will also like to spend more time with people, like in person. Right now my job is about spending time with people, but most of the times it is online. So I would like to to go to move to commute to different places. Uh, when I was a teenager, I used to take take photographies. I actually worked as a freelance photographer for a while, so maybe I could get that job again. But not thinking too much about money but more as a hobby something to try on weekends just to unwind but somehow to get some money too